Hey guys, Tammy Cinematic Skeens. This is episode six. Um, I know I said that I wouldn't be doing another episode for two weeks. Hello, Theodore. Um, but a special surprise, there is gonna be a giveaway, so I wanted to go ahead and get that out to you guys. Um, and also do like a quick episode, and it will not be that long because I do not have a lot of acquisitions, um, <laughs> finally. It's like I take myself off the yarn diet and then everything slows down. It was just limiting myself that was making me buy all the things. Um, <laughs> so anyway, let's get into it and then I will give you guys the giveaway. Um, first off, I wanted to go over the Woolen Vine yarn that I got last time and I told you guys I couldn't figure out what the name of it was supposed to be. Well, the name is Seven Year Itch and um, this is on the Blitzed base and it's called Strange Brew as well because that is what she calls her mystery skeins. So it's a mystery dye, but she named it Seven Year Itch. So kind of like my uh, dye mistakes that I rename other things. But yeah, this wasn't a mistake for her probably. So, but yeah, this is the Bull and Vine yarn. I have decided to keep this one um, since I, like I said, I had dyed that same base um, that I showed you guys and this actually pairs really well with that so I'm gonna keep it and kind of experiment with doing like a fade um, maybe do a cowl um, speaking of cowls uh, West 7th wool Amy she's so great uh, sent me or told me about this pattern Goonies never say die. And um, I'm gonna try it. I'm still playing around with color work because you guys know I'm, I've already told you guys I am not good with things. <laughs> and I just started knitting. So I'm still not that great with color work. Actually, I need this. Um, but the Goonies never say die. I mentioned the Goonies when I was talking about Monster Squad. It's one of my favorite movies as well. I even have a tattoo that says never say die. Um, I got it uh, to commemorate my Portland trip because I went to Portland for I think two weeks um, to kind of settle my mind after my mom passed away and fell in love with Portland. And if I can ever afford to buy a house in Portland, I'm moving there. Um, but I got Never Say Die and I got a skull, but I made it a sugar skull to give it some difference. And then I got samurai knives because I'm into Asian stuff instead of like the blades that they normally use behind the cross crossbones or whatever but anyway <laughs> that's the story behind my Goonies tattoo but I'm stoked about that cowl um, I am gonna use yarn for my own supply so I've got to figure out what colors I want to use like I don't know if I'm gonna dye yarn to go with it or if I'm just gonna use something for my stash we'll see um, yes <laughs> uh, for knitted objects I don't have anything finished um, yeah I don't have anything finished I do have my work in progress, which was the Bright Axis tee that I haven't felt like working on. I have worked on it a little bit since we last spoke. Where is the beginning? I took off my shiny thing, but where is it? All right, so this is where we were last time. So I've made a little bit more progress. Um, I had to do some recovery because I I don't know what I did but my cable and needles were on the floor and my work was on the bed so I had to pick up all the stitches and I'm sure I twisted some of them but it's okay it's okay my other work in progress is the or are the alley socks which I will show you a picture of and by the way I'm using my phone again because my camera is being terrible again um, I looked it up and I am past the time that I can exchange or return it. One week passed. Um, I'm tempted to trade it in. I did look on the Sony website to find out what's going on with the overheating and apparently it's a thing. Um, it, with continuous recording, that camera overheats between 20 minutes to an hour depending on what your camera settings are but the minimum is 20 minutes, um, which really makes me angry. 
uh, because one, this camera was not cheap, and two, they market it as a vlogging camera. So if the camera is made for vlogging, shouldn't you do something so it doesn't overheat after 20 minutes? What am I supposed to capture? You guys know I can't only talk for 20 minutes. Sorry, this shirt's a little bit too snug. Um, gained a little bit of weight. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm using my phone again. And I think the picture on my phone isn't too bad. Um, my phone is also really old because I, I don't want to upgrade. Like I love all the new features that the newer phones have, except I like having a physical home button. So I refuse to upgrade my iPhone because they took away my button and I don't like, like, I have a newer iPhone for work and I hate it. Like I, I miss my button. Um, <laughs> anyway, my other work in progress, and I'm showing you the picture on the website because I'm, I just started them a couple days ago and I'm going really slowly because color work. Um, these are Alley socks. Look at that. Are they pretty? Um, by Sarah Opie. And like I said, I recently started these in my Beetlejuice bag. And so far, I think they look a little snug. So I think maybe color work, I might knit tighter. Uh, but this is what I've got so far. Proud of myself. I'm holding, because of the way I hold my yarn, I have issues with tension. So I'm hoping these work out. They feel a little tight. I don't know. <laughs> Those are my works in progress. That's it. That's all I got. Um, oh, no. I take that back. I lied. My cozy memory blanket. Um, I, let's see, last time I showed you guys, I had done two rows. Two rows in this orange. So I finished out the row that that orange was on. So it's, it's coming together. It's coming together, guys. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to do this as a 9 by 9 square. And yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm going to do a 9 by 9 square. And I'm going to do four 9 by 9 squares. And then I think on each square, not like each of these squares, but on each 9 by 9 square, I'm going to find a really cool fabric to put on the back side. Because the back side is not that bad. I've been weaving my ends in as I go. Um, but I think I'd rather have something covering up the backside, like a sheet or something. So I think like different flannels would be really cool. So, yeah. Okay. Now that's my works in progress. All right. Acquisitions. Going through this really quick, huh? Told you guys it wouldn't be too, too, uh, crazy. I got this. I don't know if that's showing up backwards. It probably is. Um, Amarisu Fall Winter 2021 Knitting Lifestyle Magazine issue number 23. And the reason that I picked this up is because it says inspired by films, which you guys are probably reading backwards. I don't know how things work. Um, but I flipped through this yesterday. I didn't really like go through it, go through it. But there isn't a lot in here I think I would make. Because I'm, I don't know, I'm picky. But the Satsuki, Satsuki sweater, which is inspired by Totoro, my neighbor Totoro. I really like this one. It's like simple, but, and like, it almost looks like runes, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but yeah. And then, while I was in here, there's a picture of Spin Cycle. And you know how Andrea Mowry constantly knits with Spin Cycle? They have Spin Cycle at McKinney Knittery. Where'd the picture go? Spin Cycle yarn. Um, they have it, and I've looked at it, and everybody is like flaunting its praises. Here's my issue. I can't tell what the colors fade to just looking at the skein of yarn like I need a swatch like I, I need to see like how the colors fade and I know there's like their whole thing is it's like a long fade that's all fine and great but can you do like a 
kind of like the the Zauer balls. They have that little picture on it that shows you what the colors look like. I wish they did that because I literally cannot tell what the spin cycle yarns are going to look like because I wouldn't mind trying one of Andrew Mallory's sweaters with spin cycle, but it's expensive and I don't want to buy something that I'm not going to like. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, so this was cool. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm just going to look at it and I'm going to read the little background stories because movies. Um, but yeah, I got that. That arrived yesterday in the mail. Um, and then I bought, sorry, I'm going to pull up the picture because I downloaded the picture so I could show you what things are supposed to look like. Um, I had it up this morning. There it is. All right. I got some worsted yarn, which I don't really buy much of. I actually have a bag of an Indie Dyer's worsted yarn that I bought. And I bought two skeins. And the lady was just really nice and that's the whole reason I bought it. I'm never gonna win it with it. I even caked it up and was like, I'm gonna make something with this. And then I just kept looking at it and like, no. And it's um it's super it's non super wash worsted yarn and it's like this really it's really pretty. It's like teal and white. I'm never gonna use it. Um I don't know, can I give away yarn that I've already caked up? Like I have one skein uncaked and one skein caked and I know I'm not going to use it. I feel like somebody else should use it because I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but anyway, this is worsted. I am going to use it and I will show you what I'm going to use it on because this kept coming up in my Instagram feed. You know, things you don't follow on Instagram that just show up. And this is Gritty Knits Marinosaurus. <laughs> they had me at Dinosaurs. Um, Look at this color, and this is the colorway Mastodon. It's 215 yards, 100% superwash merino. I love this. And the reason I love it is because these, like I said, these kept coming up in my feed. These are the Hip Slippies by Natasha Sills. Aren't those adorable? Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. So that is what this is for. It, it calls for one skein of the Marinosaurus Worsted. And that's what I'm gonna make. I just haven't started it yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do it. Um, and then I was on Insta, not Instagram, Etsy, and a lady was destashing some Felici yarn. Which, um, if you watch the We Share Needles podcast, they talk about Felici yarn all the time. And I love self-striping yarn, as you guys can see with my mustache pickups. Um, but they had a colorway that isn't on the Knit Pick site anymore. I think it's Mermaid Tales. Yes, Mermaid Tales. And they actually, on We Share Needles, they actually just knit a pair of socks out of this. And I saw that and was like, ooh, I want that yarn. It's really pretty. And like I said, Knit Picks didn't have it. And then the lady on Etsy had it in her de-stash. Um, but it's gonna be a really pretty stripy sock. Um, I thought I was only buying one, but apparently the de-stash was for two because with my only making ankle socks. I really only need one, but hey, cool. And I mentioned on my last video that I got um, some more stuff from Twill and Print. Sorry, my throat's dry. Um, so I remembered to grab it this time. And I just got um, pins and um, a progress keeper, which doubles as a stitch marker. They send you both of the connections, so you can go either way. But it's the sheet. And I told you guys, hey, 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 no. I love the sheep so much. I got the pin as well. They have another one that's a black sheep that's kind of glittery. Um, I didn't want the glitter. And then Sip Sip Knit. So cute. All right. Is that everything? That's everything. Now, if this was a regular episode, I would be done right now. However, this is a special episode because we are going to do a giveaway. Um, as I mentioned on my last podcast, I got some Yarnable yarn and it came with a candle 
that I can't use because of the strong scent of it. Boys, can y'all stop? Sorry. Um, so I am gonna give that away. And it also came with a cowl pattern. And I don't really do cowls, other than I'm gonna make that Goonies one, uh, cause I don't like stuff around my neck. Um, but the lady at Yarn and You kind of convinced me that cowls are okay. So I'm gonna attempt one, but not this one. <laughs> so, the Yarnable Yarn. An apple crisp, plush sock base, fingering yarn, 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon, 437 yards. This is it. Fresh picked apple candle, not used, obviously. Comes in a little tin, uh, two and a half, 2.6 ounces. I'm wearing my glasses and I couldn't read that. Fresh picked apples is the scent and I can still smell it. It's strong. Um, and the Alamode Cowl. Why do I keep saying wool? Cowl. I can't do it. Cowl. <laughs> so this is going to be one of the giveaways. So it's going to be the yarn, the candle, and the pattern. Giveaway number one. Okay. And I'll get to how we're going to do this in a sec. Giveaway number two. Lola Bean Yarn, three bean salad base, 75% superwash merino, 15% cashmere, 10% nylon, sport weight. Uh, color is another brick in the wall, 400 yards. And it's an orangey pinkish color. I know it's supposed to be brick, but whatever. So it will be this and since I know some of you guys like Magic Loop and I have extras, a pair of Chiaogu Lace 40 inch circular needles, US3. This is a fixed circular. So giveaway number two, Chiaogu needles and yarn with cashmere. Sorry, it's Saturday morning and in the mornings, I let my dogs do whatever they want for like an hour to get their energy out for the day so we can continue on our adventures because we usually go for drives on Saturdays. Um, and they are going nuts. So I apologize for the background noise. If you can hear it, I can hear it. It's driving me crazy. Um, and last but certainly not least, and the best giveaway, you guys remember I showed you the bag from Home Row Fiber Co. that I absolutely love to the point where I kind of wanted to get it tattooed. Remember that bag? Well, what had happened was um, Rochelle with Home Row Fiber Co. Um, in a happy accident sent me a second one. And when I reached out to her about it, she said that I could give one away to you guys. So I have a Home Row Fiber row bag in the color dusk and as i mentioned it's an environmentally friendly bag and i had this written down and i left it in the other room but it's cotton uh, i think the inside is organic sateen cotton and the poles are cotton and any uh she tries to use all of the fabric so any salvage edges are composted and almost zero waste so, guys are getting a row bag. Um, awesome, right? Right? Isn't this fantastic? Because like I told you guys, I love this bag. And I kind of wanted to uh, take mine and cut it up and make it into like an everyday type bag, like re-sew it and all that stuff. And I could have done that, but I'm giving it to you guys instead. So, that's three giveaways, right? Isn't that amazing? So, um, <laughs> I, I'm amazed. Three giveaways. Um, I have a thing about threes, so yes, this is perfect. Um, and we are going to give this away on November 27th. I'm going to do like a random choosing of comments. And in your comment, I want you to tell me. Sorry, I had to take a moment. My dogs um, got a little crazy, um, a little too crazy. Don't come to me now. All that noise. What are y'all doing? You trying to kill each other? Huh? What are you doing? Hi, 
Benny. What? What? No. You were being bad. Yes, you were. Can you get down? Get down. I don't care. Get down. You know better. Get down. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like when I yell at them, they have to come apologize. It's kind of sweet when you think about it. Anyway, back to the giveaways. Um, to enter the giveaway, I would like you to share a movie with me that always makes you smile uh, in the comments below. So comment that and I will do a random selection of the comments on November 27th because it's kind of like Thanksgiving weekend. So it's like a thank you for watching me blab on about random things and go off on tangents. So it's a thank you giveaway. Um, so enter the giveaway, leave a comment below of the movie that makes you smile all the time. Mine is Big Trouble in Little China because it's my all time favorite movie. Um, but yes, so with that said, happy knitting and I'll talk to you guys again in two weeks. Bye.